Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Monster Basement, which is a flash horror game where you're in a basement and must survive monsters. Quick note that this is actually a fairly older game, it's all the way back from 2007, so there's probably a lot of people who will be watching this who will be nostalgic for this. I have not played this game, so this is actually a complete fresh experience for me. Darkness is all I see, so I lie injured on the floor. What happened last night? My friend cried out for help. What was I doing? I pick myself up. The atmosphere grows damp and cold, like my soul. Where am I? I don't know, where are you? A live wire connected to the light. Far too dangerous to touch. Punch lead down below to the basement. Where it leads to, I'm unsure. Maybe it leads to the monster basement. Well, this... This basement's pretty hardcore. Hey, free axe. Giant bloodthirsty vampire flies. I will be keeping my distance, apparently. Hmm, bunch of vials. Something in a cage. The axe is firmly driven to the table. The vampire flies prevent me from reaching it. What's over here? A platform for a device of some sort. There's a halo mark in the center and three engraved holes. Easter egg, a photo of a couple, on the back it says congratulations. A journal. 1941 to 1942, discovery of an open portal to an underground world. Nice. It's locked. Anything else here? I don't think so. Ventilation shaft, it's too small to fit in though. So what's in this cage? Cage is locked. I need a key to unlock it. It said the cage of blanket covers a large something or someone. There's a phone. 911. Useless. The door is jammed shut. No way I can bunch this door open. Was there something flashing on those? Picture of a brother and sister. No, don't do that. I see, I see what you're doing there. Painting of a farmer. There's something not right here. Machinery and creatures have strange attributes and elements. What we got here? Got rag. Got a thing. This spray can is empty like my soul. I need to find something to fill it with. Preferably my soul. A scrunch up piece of paper found in the bin. Call salvation. Oh yeah, the letters. The spray can's prior for the flies. That's I mean, that's my first guess. We need to find something to basically fill it with though. Keep a paperwork. Useless. Locked. What's this? Lowest price is guaranteed. Handyman company will guarantee quality service. They maybe will help me. Handyman, the best service in town. Alright. Let's dial our number. 944-521-644. Hello? Did I... Comforting. I goofed, didn't I? It's not like scary music. I hear a sound coming from the entrance door. Oh, have you come here to help me? Hmm. <laughs> uh. A letter from the handyman providing great service indeed. Thanks, I needed this eye. Oh, and what's a screwdriver eye? Great. It's exactly what I need. A screwdriver from the handyman in front of the letter. Looks pleasant. My family will be sure no tonight. Feast will be served earlier than expected. Host. But some of it seems that monster friend wants me to escape. There are a few hooks hanging on the side used for hanging meat. Who knows what else? 
All right, I've turned on the cursor. This could be a little bit easier for some people. Uh, let's see. The switch is blocked by large vampire flies. You need to get rid of them somehow. Well, we have a screwdriver. We can do things with this. And by doing things with this, I mean we can do absolutely nothing. Cancel the item for a second. Got some item there. Looks like something's supposed to fit inside the support stand. That's for the... What are that thing? It's toast. This liquid substance must be lethal. I did my spray can to the deadly substance to fill with some content. I hope this works. Use this. I use a spray can. The flies die fast. Beats using my home bug spray any day. I take the axe. It may come in handy. Table of blood stains. The stench is unbearable. That's that's some good old here's Johnny. I thought I was like, oh, the game's already over. No, we just get out of that room. I cannot see a thing in this area. We need to shed some light here. The reflection's kind of scary. I can barely see a light. If I had a light bulb, I could shed some light in this area. Let's go back for now. Calling Salvation. Salvation is here. <laughs> what can you grab me? There is something from the entrance door. Now what do I have? Salvation Army. <laughs> oh god. Did you give me Salvation Army? It's, uh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. I place a stand in the center of the halo mark. Looks like there's more missing pieces to this contraption. Well, what? Inside so the cage, a blanket covers a large something or someone. Why do we want to let you out again? Should we safe to remove the light bulbs? The lights are off. Got him. Take a light bulb off from the ceiling. No light bulb means no light. Well, the is off. I sh okay, already got him. The bulbs in. What the are you? Um, axe. Exactly. Are you dead? Axe would be the appropriate word to describe this monster. Empty barrels like my soul. Two refrigerators with a lot of outdated tomato sauce overflowing from the inside. An air conditioner really helps in the hot, dusty areas like this. Another ventilation shaft. So what did I get by axing you? Oh, something here. Look firmly, though I hear a stream of water flowing from beneath. Oh, I see. Secret. Kinda. You gotta, like, really click around. That's, like, so adventure gamey. Cause you know, like nothing like is really like, prompting you, like the click up there. You just gotta click. Are, are you for this? Sure. Doesn't seem to be moving. Deceased. Thanks for the blanket. Hmm. Oh. I thought these were just like Easter eggs. Wow. Hold up. 
we click on this. There we go. March 27, 1941, surviving World War II. The bombshell has sheltered me during the war. I remind myself how thankful I am to be alive. My well-protected basement will keep me breathing until this war massacre is over. February 14th, portal discovery. I've stumbled upon a discovery of a lifetime. Upon this never-ending battle we face on the surface, even darker world coexists beneath us. Where the portal leads to cannot be explained in words, but rather the feeling, the atmosphere draws my attention. The new dimension is formless and empty, like my- oh god. The air screams for the life by the amount of determined space and energy. So I commence to build within this new discovery of mine. The portal keeping me safe Earth from the disasters of war revealed life forms from a far distance. Creatures of all sorts of kinds had gained my attention through building a safe sanctuary for myself. These creatures showed hostility and infected me with a viral disease. I was not welcome into their territory. Let's see, monster. I didn't know how these creatures could adapt themselves to a formless and empty giant nothingness. Whenever they infected me with has become worse. I am receiving the urge to feed a monster flesh, not really my daily appetizer, but no other food just seems to satisfy me any longer. I have become a monster, and I am left with a desire to hunt down all monsters and put an end to my misery. Some discoveries are left best, best left buried. You sound kind of cool. Can you imagine that, like, become a monster, you're hunting down monsters? It's a hell of, like, a, an action movie plot. The Mud Vial. For the record, there is no reasoning with the monster known as the Mud Vial. This creature poses hostility to anyone or anything that crosses its path. Researching this creature, the Mud Vial lives in soil. How do we kill with an accent if it's made out of mud? And complements the dirt so it's nat in its natural habitat. To its natural habitat, rather. This text is very small for me, by the way. If you want to be slightly blown up a little bit because of scaling, but like, this is an old game. It sleeps 85% of the entire day, just like my old cat, Ginger. The Goliath. Much like David and the Goliath, the Go Goliath creature is large and poses greater hostility. In my great success of capturing the Goliath, I have caged it safely and will study further details about this monster before I exterminate it and its entire kind. Thanks for the key. I'm assuming this goes here. Yep. Okay, I think we have all the items. Not you. You. Golden egg? Odd. There's no unique visible attributes whatsoever. It looks like there's more missing pieces to this contraption. Nope. Secret. A metal cylinder with electrical wiring on its end. It looks incomplete. Looks like there's more missing pieces to this contraption. What else could be missing? I can't remember what this blanket's for. Ah, cover the table with a blanket. I should cover the smell. Now the flies can't get me. Oh, here we go. It's so persnickety about that stuff. I place all items together. The device shines brightly. You've done it. I'm, I'm not actually quite sure what I did. I touch the device, and eye opens and generously returns a stare. Oh, it's projecting. Oh, I see. What do we got here? The phone rings. Onicon. It just started being bashed over the other side. The monster grows impatient. A monster. A piece of heart that smells unbearable. All by telling may come in handy. Do we give this to you? Not yet, I need the entrance door to be open first before I let this crazy monster roam about. Hmm. Maybe we hang on the hook? Yep. The vampire flies find their new stench. 
No, damn you flies. It's gonna be moving. Oh wait, no, it's moving. Oh my god, this is so early 2000s. Soul. The monster is defeated. Now we play rave music. Because every flash had to end with rave music. Thanks to my friend, of course. Yeah, I knew it. I thought our shadow was a little weird. So we were the monster in the basement, technically. Well, I guess that's it for Monster Basement. So some of these games age better than others. Uh, some of them are almost timeless. This one's... I'm not gonna say it's like... It's not like it's bad at all. It's it's a escape room flash game. But it's pretty much... To me, I like it just because, you know, it's very nostalgic. Not in the way I, like, I played it in a nostalgia way. But just... It is by the definition that... 2000... Because I said 2007, yeah, this is pretty much that era. Down to uh, just like the credits song. Because whenever I think of this era, I always think of like... For some reason, there's a lot of edgy guys with hats. There was a lot of those. It might be... I think Van Helsing might have came out. And um, there was Blade in some of her movies. I'm sure that had some kind of influence on that. Blade didn't wear a hat, but it was still that image. Uh, there was always a lot of axes. And there's always like a lot of stabbing. And there's usually like filtered, like scary, deep voices. So this had it all. This, this would have been... If I, if I played this back in the day, I would have thought this was like really rad. There is a second game, I think, Monster Basement 2. So maybe one of these days we'll go and uh, play the second one. See how, see how the sequel stacks up. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Monster Basement. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.